here today for the Naturopathic Legacy Project's Elder Practice Interview Series. Please state your name and profession. Uh, John Bender, and I'm a naturopath. Awesome. Where do you practice, and how long have you been in practice? I practice in Waterloo, and I, I took over at Dr. Kegler's practice in 1979. So I've been practicing since then. Wonderful. Which naturopathic principle do you identify with most in the practice? Why? I think uh, the most important thing is above all, do no harm. Um, because at the end of the day, that's the most important. What are your top three modalities to use? Uh, the first most important modality I use is uh, complex homeopathy. I make about 60 of my own remedies. Um, I also use some botanicals. And uh, of course, diet is, is always uh, important as well. What clinical pearl do you want other NDs to know? Yeah, I, I'm trying to think of that. I mean, there, there are lots. I think one of the most important things is to listen to your patients. Uh, the lecture we just heard uh, is Dr. Ray Matheson. She said, she never goes above her patients, never tells them what to do. And I think that's really true, particularly with dosages. Um, because I don't know what dosage is most optimum for the patient. They often know the best, and they often know best what treatment to take. Uh, for example, I've, I've recommended people get antibiotics, for example, in some instances. And they'll say, no, I'm not going to do that. And uh, it turns out, to be the right decision in the end. Um, so, yeah. Awesome. I that. What is the most gratifying experience you've had in your practice? Well, I've had a great deal, but one just recently that stands out is I had a child who was approximately six, six, seven years old, and he had recurring fevers. So every month he'd have a fever. And it would go quite high, and, and uh, parents would take them to emerge, and, and they'd always treat it with uh, suppressive, like Tylenol, I and so on. And uh, he had had zillions of antibiotics to go that didn't do anything. And we couldn't really identify an infection or anything, it's just that he kept getting his fever. It wasn't every month, but approximately. And uh, Anyway, I, I gave him remedies which helped the fever to become more efficient. I love Dr. Gagnon. And uh, like within the first treatment, he was better. The parents couldn't believe it because they had been to all these specialists and they were about to see an immune specialist who his method of treating was using uh, steroids. Anyway, the kid, the kid is fine and it's been that way for about a year now. and. Uh, treatment was very simple and, and the parents were so gratified because they didn't have to take three days off of work every month and, um, and I think treating children is especially rewarding because you can you can help them get better and it affects them the rest of their life their their life is better because of it and uh, that's very gratifying to be able to help somebody for the rest of their life And what's the most surprising thing you've seen in practice? Well, the most surprising thing, perhaps, is how the changes in, in uh, our profession. And I, I thought it would be a long time before we'd be under the RHBA, but here we are. And uh, on the other thing, of course, is the internet how aware patients are, do their own research, and I mean, it's just amazing that instead of a library, you have this thing right in front of you and, and you can find out virtually anything. I think that's the most surprising, that all this knowledge is now at our fingertips. It's great. And so, at the Naturopathic Legacy Project, our motto is to preserve the past for our future. Is there anything that you would like to tell us? Well, yeah, I think that we, we don't need to um, 
feel inferior or take a back seat to anyone because a lot of our treatments we work with the body and I think it's essential to keep that in mind that we we're not to force the body to do anything because the body has a, an amazing capacity to heal and if we give it half a chance or a whole chance if we give it a chance it's amazing what the body can do on its own and if you you can look at the illness as being too much of something or not enough of something else. And if you provide what it needs, take away the things that are impeding progress, impeding the fear, um, you can accomplish amazing things. So I think, I don't think it's important that we try to become green doctors or, you know, think that antibiotics are the most important thing. Because I, in the future, I see antibiotic used because of resi bacterial resistance becoming used less and less. And I think that's necessary. So I think it's very important that we keep developing techniques that work with the body and accomplish healing the body. Absolutely. Thank you so much for sitting down with us today and we'd love to have you here. Well, thank you. And thank you for doing this project. I think it's very important to, to learn from others. That's I mean, why make mistakes that others have made? It's important to learn from them. Right. And I, and I see that naturopathy has evolved and and is much better than what I practiced when I started practice. Mm -hmm. Better now, and there's no reason to think it can't get better, even better. Absolutely. But I think it's very important that we always remember we have to work with the body to forgive it. Thank you. Thank you.